Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Footies is the biggest summer promo every year in FIFA. It's that one promo that we all look forward to with crazy high-rated cards and just an absolute fun time in the summer months of FIFA. And EA just confirmed that that is coming soon to FIFA 23. I want to talk about that and we have to discuss what it means for content for the market and also everything that's going on with the start of Shapeshifters Team 3 yesterday in FIFA Ultimate Team. If you're excited for the video, if you're excited for footies, drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you're new. Now we're going to start talking talking about Shapeshifters 3, do a big content overview of yesterday, look at the market, talk about everything that happened, and then we'll get into this footies discussion. But first, we'll start with objectives yesterday. We had a lot going on yesterday, including the return of a daily login upgrade pack, which is a lot shorter than some of those daily logins we had during Team of the Season. Only seven days to do this one. You do get a 585 and a guaranteed Shapeshifters player pack at the end. Make sure you log in every day. Take this video every day when the video goes live. Make that an opportunity to go check and make sure that you have done your daily login nice packs along the way uh so much fodder available from these and we'll take a look at fodder of it in this video um and how it's moving after yesterday of course as well shapeshifters cup last week we had a player objective for the cup this week we have an 85 times 10 the thing i like about this is we have to use three shapeshifters in our starting lineup which is just nice because you get to try new players out a lot of us have shapeshifters in our team now from doing a few objectives doing some sbcs so i'm a fan of that ggs to ea there with good rewards and I love the Shapeshifters Gavi card, man. A lot of really good right backs released recently. Zaha last week. This Gavi now is a free card. Four star, five star, high, high. It's kind of a cool position change for Gavi. And actually, you can do, um, you know, with this Gavi card, a lot with squad building with some of the cards that have been released recently, right? With like the left back, um, Jordi Alba. You've got the Busquets that a lot of people are still using. That's a W there. And then, of course, the X. P. Two more objectives dropped yesterday. People are now able to get level 40. If you've caught up, we've opened 85 times 25s on the Clips channel. If you want to go and check that out, I do think the play at level 40, guys, is the 85 times 25. I do think that that icon player pick is kind of an IQ test. I just don't think it's really worth doing because it's like the same icon pick that we've had in SBCs. You just get that extra slot, which may be very overpowered, of course, but that's a big gamble for 25 players, all rated 85 and above. And Del Piero, I would take him if you're a big Del Piero fan, but um, he's not that expensive on the market. So that's my kind of thoughts there. But if you're grinding the objectives, we now have enough XP to get to level 40. There still should be some XP coming out, but we've got 19 days left in the season to get as much done as we can and get that XP progression going. Now let's talk about SBCs. We really only had like one big SBC yesterday and it was Trent. Alex Alexander Arnold, not the SBC we expected at all. It was leaked uh, to not be him. He was not leaked at all. And we got this card last year during Shapeshifters. We had a CDM Trent, which I think some people would have liked to see this year as well. But a striker version this time with five star skills, four star weak. But to me, he seems more of like a center attacking mid or a center mid in game. I think that would suit this card really, really well, even though he's got the striker and center forward positions on the card. Um, a bit expensive for me. That's the only problem. I do think a lot of people are doing this SBC though. If you take a look at Footbin, not a very high upvote percentage here on the actual card SBC, but when you click in and look at the upvotes and downvotes, um, you know, it's about 50-50. So I do think a lot of people are doing this trend. And I think this trend is one of the reasons that some of the other shapeshifter strikers that are in this team of three and also from some of the other teams are actually down a little bit on the market. We'll talk about that in a second, but I do think this trend, if it's somebody uh, that you want to get done through crafting, through again, all the fodder packs that we're getting right now, it is a pretty fun card. Do I think it's overpriced? Yes, but it's a pretty fun item once again. Now, let's take a look at the team that is in packs. Actually, first, before we do that, let's take a look at the SBCs that refreshed yesterday, because we had a lot of SBCs refreshing, and this was big inside of here. I mean, Trent was one of the lesser hyped SBCs yesterday with a 90 plus player pick refreshing. Of course, of course, we're able to do that until Sunday. The year in review is out till Sunday as well. That refreshed. And of course, the TOTS or TOTS Moments Upgrade Pack, which I have to complete the second SBC of here in a little bit. Uh, all of that refreshed yesterday. And actually, where you saw fodder move the most was on the low tier. 
83s, 1.3K. I believe all these guys were at 1.5K at one point yesterday. Uh, these guys really went up, even with the packs that were being opened and weekly rewards. A lot of people were needing some of those middle tier fodder cards to go and do SBCs. 84s are up, they're 3.5K a piece. And then that's kind of it for the fodder market. That's what went up, just that low tier, just a little bit. More so what we saw was dropping prices on the top tier, especially on the 87s, but we expected that, right? We knew those prices were gonna go down after they were very high, um, after that 87 times three requirement in the 8410 SBC. So those are down a lot. We'll look to maybe invest in those here uh, sometime today on Saturday, maybe Saturday night if we don't get much content today. And then 88s are down a lot as well. So that's kind of a fodder kind of market right now. There are a few cards yesterday on the higher tier, like this De Bruyne, 27,000 coins. There was a big sell-off heading into content, and then they did kind of jump back up as some people went out and were doing the 90 plus icon pick. So fodder yesterday probably wasn't the most popular place to trade, but there have been some movements and we'll be looking to invest again this weekend at some point for an upcoming new icon pick or pack probably on Sunday. I can't see them releasing another one of these today on Saturday since... Of course, that SBC for the 90 plus is still there. Now, let's talk about the team now. Guys, this team, I think some people are saying it's the worst out of all three Shapeshifter teams. And I hear that. Um, I would say this team is still really solid. There's some really great players in here. Of course, Pogba, Joao Felix. We finally got a special Thierry Henry. The problem with this team is it is so expensive. And that is the issue with this squad. But there are some nice cheaper players in here too. Rusillian is really dope. Um, it's, you look down, I mean, even this Nicholas Pepe card, uh, Shapeshifter Premium for 71,000 coins, not a bad item. I can't believe that Harry Maguire is 300k. I think that this uh, card on the market specifically has been impacted by the Trent Alexander-Arnold SBC a little bit, but 312,000 coins, he was actually just below 300k, he's rising a bit. This is a card for the memes. He's not the best in game, but he is a lengthy, of course. You put a chem style on him to boost up maybe that pace a little bit, to boost up that shooting, or maybe dribbling just a little bit more, whatever uh, console you're on. Sometimes old gen, people like to throw an engine on this type of card. Um, you can see 68% of people are saying an engine. Actually, that is the play. Engine is the play because he is still lengthy on an engine. That's massive. That's actually really cracked. I'm hoping to try this card out. He looks fun and he's cheap, so I love that. But most of this team is pretty expensive and the pack weight was pretty bad. And that's why a lot of people are not a huge fan of this promo side right now. Now, I will say, heading into today's content, I'm watching a lot of these cards for some fluctuations. Hugo Uriz just went from 700 and about 50, 760,000 coins all the way to 900K. Now, I'm not watching the market like at all today. I'm gonna be almost completely off the game, um, touching some grass, but I was able to buy four of those cards um, in like the 750, 725 was my lowest, and I was able to sell them on all off just now for 900K just to take the cash. So some really good flips there. The, guys, with these cards not being very packable, they are rare, right? They're very rare. They have pretty crazy fluctuations, and that means they're good to trade with. And I would watch them today because they should be nice cards to make coins with if you're going to be trying to fluctuation trade with those guys. Now, one question is, where's that Kyle Walker card, right? Now, there is going to be a mini release uh, for this team on Sunday, but the Kyle Walker was leaked and it was never dropped. So I don't know where that card is. Um, it could be an objective or an SBC as well. But as of right now, it's a bit confusing to know where it is because it was leaked. We thought it was going to be dropped and it's nowhere to be found. So that's kind of the team that is in packs. Now, let's talk about footies because we didn't see anything in FIFA yesterday kind of relating to the footies promo. But what we saw was before the content drop yesterday, there was a big time tweet of some pack code that was added into this game about footies. And it basically says EA, EA is saying, hey guys, footies is coming soon because we're adding this pack to the code, right? A footies super loan pack. It contains one footies best of batch one player loan loans for 99 games this confirms two things for footies one that it's coming and two we're going to have best of players back in packs and if you don't know what this is this is basically ea putting a uh, group or usually it's a big long list an excel document of like a hundred plus players 
back in packs from promos that have happened earlier on this year. So maybe foot birthday cards, maybe fantasy foot cards, probably a lot of these, right? Road to the finals, future stars, team of the year honorable mentions, team of the year cards will be re-released. Centurions maybe, winter wild cards items will be back in packs, especially in the earlier batches, like in batch one, as it mentions here. That's one of the biggest things about footies and one of the biggest things that everybody looks forward to every single year is all the colorful cards that are back in packs and the good fodder that you get right because why would you pack you know some of these guys if you look at out of packs cards you know you would rather pack somebody like the 88 veron instead of the 84 right better fodder there you'd rather pack an 89 rated version of gabriel jesus instead of his gold card so that's kind of the draw there's a lot of fodder it's very um a big promo for SBC specifically, right? You're like, Nate, why do I care about a promo with cards that are re-released, right? Well, it's because you get absolutely insane cards through SBCs and through objectives. This is kind of like the marquee summer promo every single year we have the voting right which is really popular and usually happens we have weekly cups that we had last year they put shapeshifters and tots cards into the uh, foot champs rewards last year imagine having a promo with shapeshifters and then a week later after those are gone having uh shapeshifters in weekend league rewards like that was one of the really hype things last year about footies as well um so i'm not there is not a lot known about footies yet all we know is that this pack has been added to the code we know what footies is and a lot of people are starting to speculate right fifa u team says footies will be the next promo i really think they're just getting information from this pack being added to the code if they know a bit more we will see now the reason why we're making such a big deal out of this today is this really impacts the market because like we're saying some of these old special cards even though you may be like nate who uses winter wild cards benzema anymore who uses some of these guys where promo cards were dropped you know six months ago in this game well guys some of these cards still maintain value this benzema is 230,000 coins and if you look at the cheapest 92s on the market right now what are the cheapest 92s 30k this 92 benzema card i would not be surprised if he gets re-released back in packs during footies and goes from 200k where he is now to literally 40 30 40 000 coins that is the type of market crash that we're going to see on this game especially for some of the other top tier cards maybe like a centurions neymar centurions kempembe if you still have some of those guys in your team in your club team of the year honorable mentions definitely going to get re-released back in packs Vinny. Um, you know, all these cards that are a few hundred thousand coins to maybe even a million coins from older promos, Alvarez, Mudrik, cards like that. You just have to start to think, okay, these cards, if they're in my team and they're tradable and I care about their coin balance, that's where you have to start to get careful around this stage of the year. And EA will also start to re-release team of the season cards back into packs. I know the team of the season cards are still maintaining some of the highest prices on this game. Rashford, 2 million coins, right? Um, you still got multiple players over a million coins from each of these top squads. Holland is 1.7 mil. In the Bundesliga, you've got um, a very expensive Nkunku still. You've got a very expensive Jude Bellingham. Guys, these prices are going to drop off a lot more when these cards get re-released in packs. So this is kind of like the first warning as to, again, be very careful because uh, footies is bringing and always does bring one of the biggest market crashes that we see every single year to this game and what it really does is it makes everything affordable because cards are back in packs and it's the summer right everything should be pretty cheap this should be the time of the game where you're enjoying cards and you're having fun and basically if even if you don't have a ton of coins being able to buy just about anybody that you want off of this game to try them out and to use them so that's the biggest warning that i have for you guys right now is just be careful there's going to be a lot of market crashing coming even though it's an SBC promo, there's no new cards that are in packs. It's all the cards that get re-released that cause a lot of the panic. And even if that, that could start this weekend, right? People could see the leaks about footies and start remembering what it has done to the market. And you could start to see players, even like a Pedri or a Kunde. Yes, they're down in value already, but Griezmann, 1.35, he hasn't dropped off at all in the past couple of days. And after yesterday, he has now dropped off like 100, 200K. He was 1.55 yesterday. And now he's 1.35. So this could be the beginning of what you see some people start to call like a footies or a summer market crash just because people are going to know that it's going to impact the market a lot and player prices will 
drop. So we're not going to talk too much more about footies because we don't know that much more, right? And I don't want to spend too much time talking about it. I'm just saying that if you have cards in your team that are tradable, this is even another reason to be very careful about those cards right now as prices during the summer are about to drop off a bunch. And I mean, the footies promo in itself is very, very exciting. So that's something to get excited for on FIFA as well. Now, like I said, we're going to cover that more as it gets closer, as we get more confirmed information and leaks and news, because right now, all we have is a pack that's added to the code. And it is honestly very early for uh, footies to be starting. But We'll see, right? We'll cover that more this week. This week, let's talk about today on Saturday with the Shapeshifters Team Three. What content are we going to get today? Well, think about it. Last Saturday, and actually, really commonly released Saturday content during Shapeshifters the past two weeks has been Icon Player SBCs. Uh, Zambrata. I don't know if Check was on the Saturday or not, but we've had Icon SBCs very commonly dropped on Saturdays in the past couple weeks in this game. Um, we don't really have a leak for any of them right now. Honestly, we don't have any players leaked as of me making this video right now. Um, we did have a Gerd Muller leak, uh, but actually, Foot Sheriff tweeted out yesterday that this leak was a mistake. So if you were looking forward to a Gerd Muller card, unfortunately, it looks like we should not be expecting him to get an item because that was a wrong and an incorrect leak. We have no leaks for today's content as of yet. Might have one before uh, content drops today. But Saturdays, sometimes quiet days. I would watch the market specifically today. Today would be a good day to really try to grind your champs games, to get objectives done, to make some progress in the cup. And to maybe try to watch the market on some of these shapeshifter cards for some fluctuation trading opportunities, um, because after today, hopefully the content will turn up a lot more during this next week of shapeshifters, and there could be a lot of buildup and, and hype building for footies if that's going to be our next promo as well, which could mean some weird things for the market as well. So today might be a good day to trade, and um, yeah, we're going to watch fodder this weekend. I will say this. Watch fodder prices during the day today, especially on like the 88s, man. 88s at 15k. This is getting to a range where it's pretty low. And I know we have the icon SBC that's out right now, but even the last two or three weeks, 88s haven't been too much lower than 15k. Um, you have to go back to the first week of June before where they were lower than 15,000 coins. This is very low, very, very low for 88. So this is the one rating of fodder right now that I look at and say. That's kind of investable. Even uh, 87s, right? 87s, yes, they were up a lot the past two weeks, but that was a bit of an anomaly with that requirement. I like 88s the best right now, um, and I think they have potential to rise if we were to get good SBC. So if you want to invest in any fodder right now, that might be the place to go. But I'd probably wait until Saturday night into Sunday to look more into a fodder investment along those lines. I'm going to be trading a little bit today with some of these shapeshifter cards uh, into the morning. Hopefully we get a couple of sales, but other than that, I'm not going to watch the market too much. I picked up a couple of Maguire's at 290 and a couple of Klosterman's at 500k. I did get very lucky yesterday opening player picks. I saved about 30 of them. I hit Figo in like the third player pick. It's absolutely crazy. Um, so I'm trying his card out. Fun card. Wouldn't say he's like the most meta, um, but Definitely the five-star skill is fun to use. So that was an insane pull from yesterday. And I would be remiss not to cover the compensation that is going on right now. If you have compensation uh, questions, you're not alone because EA um, is doing two things with compensation right now. Number one, they've started to pay back compensation that is owed. This is from the 18 days old team of the season packs that came out during Ultimate Tots. They're finally starting to give back the untradeable Tots or Tots Moments pack. So check your store. They're definitely not done with it yet. I've only gotten one pack and I should be getting two. So they have not responded to this tweet saying that compensation is done as of me recording this video. Whenever they do that, um, whatever comes um, until then should be the rest of our packs. But I can imagine it's going to take them a long time to give out all these packs. And also, you may have noticed that there is a new player in the game, and it is Gutsa. Gutsa is getting a Shapeshifters premium card. I think he was supposed to be part of the mini release, but EA accidentally put him on the loading screen. 94 rated is 200,000 coins. Guys, to me, this card's going to end up being 100k uh, later in the weekend, but it is nice. Five star skills, four star weak foot. He can play right wing back, right wing, right mid, and left wing, and he is explosive or controlled. And I mean, that is a pretty nice looking card, but to me, 88 finishing at this stage of the game, he's going to be really, really cheap. So I think this price is a bit much for right now in this game, but watch out for that. That was a mistake that EA made. If you packed the gold version of Gutsa, you are going to be getting a shapeshifter version in the coming 
years uh, on this game. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Catch you down in the comments below. I want to know what your best pack pool was from yesterday or honestly what your level is in the season right now because I'm level 22. I got to catch up. We're getting towards the end and I'm seeing everybody get level 30, 35, and 40 and I need to catch up to get along with some of that. So again, catch you guys in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in another video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for Count. See you guys there. Peace.